Smuggler's Secret. Oh, there you are. They come from many sources, puzzles, and this particular one comes from Nauticalia, which sells Chandler equipment to yachts and boats and motor cruisers. They call it the Smuggler's Secret. The idea is to get the barrel here, out of the ship, past the customs guard here, to the sailor who's ready for his barrel of rum. It's quite tricky because you've got to go through these little loops here and well, it doesn't take very long and there's about 30 or 40 puzzles like this in my collection. All the same principle. Came out of Victorian times, I think. But a nice version of it. The Smuggler's Secret. And it doesn't take very long to do. Now here's another one from that remarkable man, Oscar van der Venter, which he gave out at a, a puzzle exchange about 1996, where the pieces make a cube but what extraordinary choice of materials. He's got little plastic cubes which are transparent and inside it, to colour them, he's given these charming little whirls of highly coloured cloth rather than making them just ordinary plastic colours. And then from it you have to make a series of shapes and patterns and have better fun. There's a little book that goes with it to show how to make it. That's a pleasing sound too and some of the shapes are very pleasing but a brilliant type of arrangement. He's such a good designer, Oscar. It's a good puzzle as well. Some of the puzzles are extremely small. For instance, a friend of mine who's made many, many glass puzzles made this, which he thinks is probably the world's smallest climb bottle. It really is a climb bottle, and it really does work. You can put liquid in it, and look how small it is. Unbelievable small. And a lovely pouch that it came in. And a well-renowned puzzlist who makes extremely small stuff, Alan Boardman, who's well-known in the puzzle world for making ultra-small puzzles. And this one is a little tiny burr which he gave out at one of our many puzzle conventions. He's made even smaller ones, including a nestling one, with one about that size, nestling that one, and an unbelievably small one in the very middle of it. But that's a seriously small piece of wood, and to, to solve it, you'd probably need a pair of tweezers, I think. Also made of wood, a completely different source, is this one here, from Anatoly Kalinin, who's a Russian guy. This is made of just simple bark wood. It's just literally scrolled the wood that had been rolled, and then form little tight rolls, and then put together to form a clever little box arrangement like that. What a brilliant idea. Simple, and yet almost craft-type puzzle, and very, very difficult to put together, I found, too. But plastic is the usual thing, so here's a couple of plastic puzzles which I introduced to puzzle parties. The first one is a lovely idea. It's a maze, would you believe, with a ballpoint pin that has to come out of there. It will only come out there when you've solved the maze and there's a pin here at the top and it has to be pushed through and get it through the maze and if someone's on the telephone saying please note this number down you'll say hang on a second I've just got to finish the puzzle otherwise I can't write. Absolutely maddening so it's a lovely one which can uh, drive people mad but it's it's a fun one as well. I wouldn't use it for a really telephone, I don't think. This one I would use and have used in the office because it's a, not a puzzle one. There is a puzzle there, you have to solve the puzzle, but it's a, it's a lockable biro, a lockable ballpoint pen. It's open now, but if I open, twiddle one of the dials and now try to push, nothing happens because I haven't got the right combination here. To get the right combination, you've got to solve this little mathematical puzzle. 77, 49, 36, question mark. What is it? You have to work it out and then turn it upside down and do it backwards and eventually you'll get the biro to work. But it's a ballpoint point basically with a lock to it. So there are an awful lot of very clever puzzles out there and I do particularly like these type of ones which you can use for something else other than just being a puzzle themselves. So I hope you'll find some yourself. Puzzles. Mm -hmm.